this child, the child that I have brought to you years ago, it is him. His name is Eden, and he is mine. But he has no memory of who he is, not since he woke up. And yet the only thing he does seem to remember is that he must always come back to me. This child, he is in Sardis, is he? No. No, he's not. And Sally doesn't even know. There is no one else but you who knows about Eden. Oh, Tess. I don't even know where to start. Who's... Whose child is he? The king's. I was always aware of his feelings towards me. Ever since we were young. But I always played it off, thinking that one day he may move on. But I was wrong. He never let me go. So I concealed my relationship with Sadi as I could to avoid sparking any sort of conflict. But little did I know, there was always a plan at the back of his mind. I could see how much he had changed ever since he was crowned king, but nothing could prepare me to the extent of his evil. He had been wanting want to, to see, see me. Want I had been putting it off due to my own apprehensions. I played stupid. I feigned surprise when he declared his love for me and that he wanted me to be his wife. His wife? And he gave me no choice. He revealed that, that he had sent Sadi to war. And I should have done that he would die there if I refused. I didn't want to break his heart. I knew that war would already wound him beyond repair, but to marry the king, that would shatter him. I took a few days away. I needed to think logically. I needed to find a solution. I couldn't let anyone know. What would they say? What would they think? That I was trying to earn some favors? That I was betraying Sonny? The king knew of the tensions between us elders. So I asked him to hold off on any public announcement for fear of being resented and cursed by your bad wishes. I asked him to wait until he achieved godhood, as this was his plan. And surprisingly, he accepted. But he soon started pestering me and demanding an heir to the throne. He kept asking me for a son, but I didn't want to give him one. I had always wanted a family, but not with him. With Sadi, but not with him. When I came to you that day, I had no idea that I had been pregnant. I am unsure if it was my denial or something else, but the next thing I knew, I was holding a baby in my hands. He was so small, so innocent. I fell in love right away, but I knew that the king could never know, or he would corrupt him too. So I kept him hidden. He's never known anything but me in the temple. Oh, Tess. Oh. Tess. Oh, my dear. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry.